would like to ask you regarding the adoption of a social media tool. Uh, you said that uh, you recommend us to uh, first have a trial, have a, a limited number of employees that uh, try that uh, solution and see how it works. But on the other side, the, the gentleman that uh, was uh, filmed by you told us that uh, it requires uh, patience because adoption takes time. So, <laughs> we tried for a small period of time with a small number of employees or we just have to wait for them to adjust and uh, hope that in time the usage will increase? I, I, I can answer it first and then the others can chip in probably. I think in terms of when, when Louis says patience, yes, it is absolutely patience is required. And I think when I, when, I, when I say trialing products, I mean you don't necessarily have to dive in and use XYZ straight away. You can trial one and then have some patience in, in one way to then trial another, and then, and then trial another if you need to. My, my, my thought is when we're talking to clients, and by no means, no one's an expert and we're not experts, but just to say, have the patience in a sense to try different tools, see which ones work for you. And in some circumstances, you can't do a limited number of um, users. For example, we did some stuff with the Football Association um, who look after the Premier League and things in the UK, and they want to put something on their Facebook page using our tools. Of course, you can't just trial that because you've got a million fans of your Facebook page, so you do it. Um, and in that circumstance, you know, there is no option. I, I don't know what... No, I was, I was thinking about, I don't know, an internal forum, let's say. We uh, start a trial with a limited number of employees, but maybe, I don't know, it's the beginning for them, they're not used to it, they... Uh, start a little bit, uh, I don't know, slowly, and maybe we decide it's not a good idea because the trial is not working well. Well, I think there, man, yes, um, I think there's several things you need to keep in mind. Whether it's internal communication or external, um, you need to know your public, and therefore you need to know what they are likely to embark on or not. The question is also whether your tool is appropriate. Um, is it what will cut the corners to get you to what you need? Perhaps the forum is not exactly what you want. Um, what he says is, is extremely great. There are situations when you need to cut corners when it comes to meetings. I want this meeting done quickly. I want this meeting to allow me to not only have video but record. I want this um, tool to allow me to share a screen and record and do something else. So in that case, you look for the functions that you need to perform that make your work more efficient. And that's a criteria. But that function that needs to be performed will serve your purpose. And once those things are clear, then you put around the table a series of options and see, is this working, is this working, is that working? And then you put in place your monitoring and saying, so this is where I start, these are my pitfalls, this is what I monitor, progress. I'll finish my trial in three weeks, which one's is better? I discard this, I take that, I need to tweak that. It's, it's a very mathematical process, almost, when you need to know what you want, then you need to know what exactly is it that you're looking for, and then you look at how that progresses, but in time. If you see that there's a potential for that thing to work, then you trial it on an extensive group and then you expand it on an extensive group. But if the group that you've trialed it on is not adopting it, and those are the people that are most tuned to technology and they're not keen on it, I would say drop it. Because if they're not enthusiastic about it, you'll lack the enthusiasm component that you need for your boosters to keep supporting that technology that you want to virally spread through your company. That's interesting. Is there, is there something you would like to add now? Um, well, I, I think it's a really difficult discussion now because you have to differentiate um, the objectives you have, um, the situation you have, and if you start um, well, with another point, don't separate the real world and social media. If you have problems with your topic in the real world, it's difficult to, yeah, to compensate it by social media. So start with the real world and then try to um, yeah, <laughs> with trials with, in, in, uh, yeah, with examples. So three triggers to improve the situation. Sure. Yeah, I think okay.
Yeah. The, the, the one thing I would come back to again is, is um, it's great if you can get early adopters and ambassadors who help you to promote the social media campaign that you're trying to drive. I think that they, they do the work for you. Um, and I think that's what I tried to, to highlight in there. And I think that's hopefully what the yeah. guys here would be doing as well. Great. Okay. Th thank you, guys. So what, what do we actually have? We, we have seen so many so many tools which can be used. Uh, we have uh, we have been talking about uh, well, some techniques, about the management, how important it is to involve the management, uh, that we should somehow measure measure it. And well, I really like those uh, those presentations in, in the end when well, the guys said well those five steps we should think about and and the first uh, first point I like very much was well, that we should actually try to think and help the people which is which mm -hmm. is also pretty very nice so so guys is there something you would like to, to add in the end well like the message which you think should be well taken out of this discussion or something very very very. Yeah. Well, just to start, um, start with the management uh, if you want to implement and use social media and not with the employees. Because if management doesn't accept it, yeah, you need management by it. I always just say, um, enjoy it if you're implementing it. The whole thing is it's a journey and enjoy it if you can, if you will. Yeah, choose and uh, I would add that you need to choose yet the few people that will be the early adopters and then engage them to spread, to help spread the, your mm -hmm. message. Let's confuse you a little bit. I'd oh, say. No. <laughs> <laughs> what I would say is that you need to confuse. Uh, you need to get your management in line, but you can start from the bottom up by creating yeah. pressure. Um, and but in that case, whatever you do at grassroots level needs to drive policy change, and that that can be done. Um, but it's a more of a sort of activist pushing process um, than the one that. So it's a more tricky road, but it can be done. Be careful with the management. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you very much. Thank you for your attention, and well, uh, see you in a few minutes.